Lance Horry, the Toronto Sun, with Terry Koshin here at the MasterCard Center. And uh, Terry, even though the Maple Leafs have broken that eight-game losing streak finally, it doesn't get any easier when Boston comes into town tomorrow. No, you know, it's uh, the Bruins are playing Detroit uh, in, in Detroit tonight, Lance, and that's going to be obviously a bit of a, a tough uh, game for them, given where the Red Wings are in the standings. But the way the Bruins are playing, they're doing what you want to be doing at this time of year, which is firing on all cylinders and uh, really... Uh, uh, just uh, doing your last bit of homework before the playoffs start. And uh, the Bruins, as we know, are always a challenge for the Maple Leafs. And, uh, you know, if the Maple Leafs play like they did last night against the Flames, they're going to be in trouble uh, tomorrow night because it wasn't a great game on their part necessarily. Probably a bit lucky that the opponent was a little inferior, but uh, the Bruins always bring it, and there will be uh, nothing different on uh, Thursday at the ECC. We spoke to Randy Carlisle, and clearly a lot on his plate for tomorrow's game. There's a level of desperation that goes into it from, from our standpoint. When you play teams of that caliber, you have to be on the top of your game. You have to be, uh, be playing at your highest level. You've got to be prepared to compete in the small areas of the ice because they're a big hockey club and the, they've got a lot of uh, depth in their lineup and they play the same way. Well, the nomination for the Bill Masterton Trophy in Toronto for this year goes to Paul Ranger, a defenseman uh, who missed uh, almost three full seasons uh, for personal reasons, uh, came back with the Marlies last year, and uh, really he's had a, uh, a good comeback here with the Leafs. Hasn't uh, really uh, you know, blown the doors off anybody, but it's made a contribution. Yeah, he has, Lance. Uh, you know, a bit up and down, uh, but that can be expected for somebody who uh, did miss the time that he did, and uh, though he did have the, uh, the good uh, season of preparation with the Marlies last year, it is a different kettle of fish in the NHL, and it's not easy for uh, guys to come back from an injury and they've missed 10 or 12 games, let alone someone who was out of the game for personal reasons uh, since 2009. So it's uh, a tip of the cap to Paul Ranger. And, uh, you know, he's, as Randy Carlisle has gone to this 11-7 split in the past couple of months. Uh, Ranger has put in some good minutes for the Maple Leafs. So, you know, curious to see where he goes from here. He's an unrestricted free agent this summer, uh, just here on the one-year deal. But uh, he's certainly shown that uh, he belongs in the National Hockey League. Ranger said it's been a year of growth on and off the ice. This is the right thing for me to do. This is the thing for me to do to um, to grow and to uh, um, uh, overcome any challenge, all the challenges that I've had in my life, uh, on and off the ice. And this this is the path, and I'm committed to it. And uh, yeah, you can't, I can't really put it all into words, um, but this is it, and uh, and it's going to help me until uh, you know, I reach 150 and riding my sea around somewhere. And I'm going to look back and smile and just say, I did it, you know? Well, Terry, you could get out your uh, calculator and uh, study it for the next uh, 24, 48 hours. What did the Maple Leafs have to do in these last five games? Well, more or less uh, win out. I mean, you, you know, if you go with the theory, they could afford to lose one game. I'm not so sure about that, Lance, because just the way things are bunched up now, uh, in the uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 spot, uh, you more or less have to assure yourself uh, getting in by winning everything. But uh, it's uh, going to be about the toughest task they faced all season. And that starts with winning tomorrow night. From the MasterCard Center, Lance Hornby and Terry Koshin for the Toronto Sun.